Have you ever thought of integrating takeoff, estimating, budgets, contracts and purchase orders? Is that even possible? Spend a few minutes with me and let me show you how that can become a reality with Sage Software. Hi, I'm Perry Ryder with Action Associates, Senior Estimating Consultant. As a consultant the past 32 years, I've come across so many different types of contractors, from general contractors to home builders to many specialty contractors. So as a process expert, I've seen and heard many different hurdles contractors have to get over. With all those challenges contractors face today, operational and profitable success always, always boils down to only one factor, and that factor is process. With that said, I'd like to share a few questions I often ask contractors that highlights process breakdowns. Here they are. Are you using a scale ruler to do your takeoff? Do you use a pencil, paper, and calculator to do your estimating? Do you have a way to compare your budget versus actual money spent on a job? Are you generating contracts manually? Do you use purchase orders? Are you using triple copy manual purchase orders? How about checking invoice dollars to purchase order dollars? Are you making money for all your efforts? Do you feel that you're chasing your tail most of the time? Well, these problems often lead to a contractor's inability to be profitable. With our extensive experience, Action Associates offers Sage software solutions that solves all those problems. Integrated complete or in pieces, your choice. So just imagine and watch this integrated and efficient workflow process checklist. You perform electronic takeoff with e-takeoff. We're going to take off a slab on grade right now, and we're just going to have a little floating slab, and we're just going to follow it along right over here, just to show you how the whole thing is done. After that, your estimate is automatically done, ready for review with vendor and contractor selections. It's at this point that you review your estimate and you choose your contractor or vendor selection as I'm doing right here. And so being that I'm in concrete, I'm going to just choose this concrete, this contractor, and I'm just gonna fill down on that person, on that company. And this vendor for lumber we chose, um, we'll go to uh, lumber and we'll choose Cook's Lumber. And Now we have everybody selected. Then finalize your estimate. Integrate it to accounting, job cost. Your budget is set. At this point, you're ready to finalize your estimate. So let's integrate it with accounting. Budget set. This is what it would look like for Sage 100 contractor users. At this point, you're ready to finalize your estimate. So let's integrate it with accounting. Budget set. Next, integrate your estimate with buyout for contract and purchase order management. Now, connect your estimate with Sage Buyout. So we'll start a new project in Buyout. We'll just call it GC, but we had our estimate named as, and uh, we'll call it, okay. And so we have these three tabs. Uh, you could fill in these tabs if you like. Uh, we have our primary contact information, the site address uh, where the project is going to be, and let's just type in that because that will land up on the purchase orders and the subcontracts. And uh, really it's at this point we're ready to import that estimate. So I'll just click on this ellipsis here click on the estimate to bring in and it's at this point we could identify it to a job number right there and in the estimate what we what we had in the estimate is we pre-selected our vendors and they came up they came into the estimate into this 
Group Items tab, and you actually see them over here. Uh, the next step is if we if we did not pre-select our vendors, we could actually select them over here and add other vendors to quote. But since they're all pre-selected, all I have to do is select each per each company's quote that we're actually selecting each quote, and then we're ready to commit. And what we're going to do over here, that we the, the uh, this company didn't come up uh, in in terms of the vendor number in accounting, so we'll just uh, look for that Portland. Portland Building Supply and that number will now come in. It's at this point we're ready to create our commitments and our commitments are our contracts and our purchase orders. And now it's in accounting. Buyout subcontracts and purchase orders integrate with accounting job costs to manage financials and customizations. This is the commitment screen where buyouts, subcontracts, and purchase orders show up with detail. It's here where you can optionally enter a detailed scope of work along with inclusions and exclusions. What's so fantastic about Sage 300 is that you have the option of using Crystal Reports to customize your subcontracts and purchase orders to your company standards and integrate it into your accounting and management software. You're in complete control. Here are some examples of what can be done with Crystal Reports, all completely integrated. Once the estimate is sent over to Sage 100 as the budget, then in Sage Buyout, you send over the subcontracts and purchase orders to Sage 100 contractor. No more reinventing the wheel with manual processes on every job. Enter information only once with Sage. It doesn't get better than that. Really true integration and automation. Those efficiencies will tighten up and streamline your operation, reduce stress, and most importantly, maximize your profits. Please give us a call so we can show you how to make this a reality. Thank you for joining us today, and I'm Perry Ryder with Action Associates.